So, uh, moving on, uh, it's been a minute since we talked about Star Wars here on this fine program we make. Um, yeah, they're, they've been quiet and so have we. So. <clears throat> Solo, A Star Wars Story uh, is out, what is that, that's on Blu-ray this week? This it's week? out this week, yeah, it's been on yeah. digital for two. Uh, this is, I don't even know how to start this. So, <clears throat> Nissan, makers of cars, including, <laughs> including occasionally special edition Star Wars cars, I believe they made a Rogue One Rogue, which was some good product integration. They sent over a limited edition Nissan exclusive, gentle giant, 3D systems, range trooper. I can't, this is, it's a good yeah. thing it's cutting off my head because I'm, yeah, this, this is, is so this second. is a range trooper 1 1 scale helmet replica. This gentle is, giant, obviously, they make a lot of statues and busts. We've talked about them on the show before. Pull it, go. pull it harder. This thing is very heavy, it's very large. Uh, but this, this is, is one to one, which means this is the size of an actual helmet. Used in the film, um, this is one of the range troopers, which is one of my favorite designs in Solo. I love these guys. These are the guys who are on the, the train chase, and they have... Don't yeah. you touch that. What are you doing? Why? You have to put on the gloves you're that right, it comes with. Right, it comes right. with gloves. I'm the museum inspector, and I'm here to put my dusty fingerprints all over this. All right, so yeah. It comes with this thing. I love this. This is one of a hundred. I think this might be the rarest thing we've ever been sent that this says... Is, don't do that. Oh, no, this it's is, got fingerprints all over it. I really need to polish it. This is a CD spindle, actually. This is where I put all of my compact discs. Um, so, yeah, let's take a look at this guy. This is just gorgeous. Um, again, it comes with certificate of authenticity. Mm -hmm. So, it's weird. I love it when they make these, like, very special limited edition things, and you know that they're limited edition because they have the handwritten edition number, and this person wrote the nine backwards. Yep. Look now remember, that. this also comes with three silica gel packets. They are exclusive to this box set. Extremely rare. Do not eat them. They Actually, will make you explode. The reason these ones are so rare is that you can eat them, and I hear they're a delicacy. Anyway, no, let's it get says this do guy. not eat. Don't eat them. Don't no. eat them. No, I'm just kidding. Don't okay. sue me. Okay, so here's the thing. It's hefty, but not as heavy as it looks. Mm -hmm. And you just shove that in there. It's a nice kind of rubberized thing, so it doesn't rattle around. Wow. And that's that's it. <laughs> this is the helmet. This is the Range Trooper helmet. Have you smelled it? Uh, it smells like a big plastic Kitchen museum. Mm. Mm. Uh, I love wow. the I love the mirrored yeah, reflective the lens here. Cool. Let's give uh, this nice touch. Um, yeah, the great scoring around the outside. Just the, the what would you the, score it? I would score this a ten out of ten. I would score it a ninety-eight out of hundred. Th there we go. Yeah, yeah. a plus in EGM. Um, yeah, but I love this. It's got the little solo thing. Um, yeah, I, I thank you to, to Nissan for sending this over. Uh, so here's the thing with, with me, uh, and I love Gentle Giant stuff, I really do, but they make a lot of busts, which I'm kind of torn on because it's effectively just the torso or the shoulders up. But they also make a, like, a lot of like full statues. Mm -hmm. I'm not a crazy fan of busts, but I love helmets. Like, so, these are awesome. Yeah. This is a kind of thing I would love to put in my apartment. And the bittersweet thing about this is that... Can you pull on that a little bit? We... Uh, can, it's oh, the, not actually the sword in the stone. It's not actually a helmet, unless you have an incredibly tiny head. I don't know what you could fit in there. A snake. But uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So the reason for that is that uh, different licenses go to different companies based on what they're actually producing. Mm -hmm. uh, Anovos is a company that makes like replica helmets, so they probably have one of this guy that you could wear or you know buy and actually put on your head. Mm -hmm. uh, I know Ruby's does more affordable helmets. Hasbro does helmets sometimes, but only the ones that have like sound effects attached to them. General Giant. Uh, they make bus. So yeah. they have the license for Star Wars bus. So that's why they did this one. Uh, I guess it technically counts as a bus, but unfortunately, you cannot wear it on your head. But it's good that you can't because you'd probably bang it up, hit your head on stuff. There it is. But it sort of gives you an idea of like what it's kind of what it was like to probably work on this film, right? Or what it's like to be a stormtrooper and wear something like this and running around. It's not surprising that their aim is bad. It's not surprising that they die so often. These things uh, look heavy. They look dangerous, and it looks like you, there's not a lot of way, ways to breathe. Or yeah. Eat. God, I love this design but so much. Damn, do you look so cool. right? I like, their, I like so their big Ralph funky, funky boots for jumping. Yeah, the, isn't yeah. It, isn't this so like so vintage Ralph McQuarrie? I love yeah, that. I dig um, it. Yeah, it's it's super cool. Uh, hold, do me a favor, Max, real quick. Hold that up in front of your your face. There we go. Do you see how that looks? Okay, so now you're getting an idea of how ridiculous it would be to have a stormtrooper wearing a Hawaiian shirt. I think we can all agree this is one of the coolest hats in Star Wars, but there are a lot of dumb hats in Star Wars too, and we ranked all ten of them, the dumbest ones, when we were much, much unhealthier. I don't know what we were eating then, but you can tell. It was a while ago. And then also, talking about Star Wars stuff, we talked about... Oh yeah, I shot a real stormtrooper rifle in Florida, where they allow machine guns. Seriously, go watch that one. And check out more videos about Star Wars whenever they make another one of these fine films. Mm -hmm. Ugh.